A linear regression can be sensitive to unusual data, like outliers, high leverage observations, or a combination of both. A robust regression is supposed to provide a solution for that. So let's build both an ordinary and a robust regressions, compare them to find out whether outliers are a serious problem, and see whether a robust model performs better than usual linear model. For the sake of simplicity, let's take only five observations with one obvious outlier. First of all, how do we know that we have influential observations? Well, plotting the raw data sometimes helps, but if you have a lot of data and many predictors, the best way to find unusual data is to conduct a linear regression and to run residuals diagnostics. OLS plot resich left function from OLSRR package displays all contaminations of data on a single plot. In our case, it finds observations for to be an obvious outlier. Now we'll use LMROP function from robust base package to conduct the robust regression and have a look at the summary and residual plot of the model because they explain how robust regression actually works. Namely, a robust regression gives different robustness weights from 0 to 1 to every observation based on its residual, where a residual is simply the difference between observed and predicted values of data. So, the smaller the residual, the larger the weight. For example, observations 1 and 3 have the smallest residuals, and therefore the highest weight, which means they have the strongest influence in our model. And while all observations with the non-zero residuals get downweighted at least a little, our outlier gets downweighted the most, to actually zero, so that our outlier has zero influence on our model, which, in fact, makes our model robust. The assignment of weights happens by iteratively reweighting least squares. Thus, we have to make sure robust regression algorithm converged. In our case, the model converged in only a few iterations. But why don't we just remove outliers and run a normal linear model, right? Well, in most of the cases, it's a bad idea, because we'll lose a lot of information. For example, in our case of 5 observations, we'd lose 20% of data. In contrast, robust regression still squeezes some knowledge out of unusual data, but lowers their weight, which does not let unusual data to influence our regression too much. Now, let's compare both models and choose the best. First, plot model command from sjplot package easily visualizes predictions of both models. The ordinary linear model shows no trend. However, the absence of a trend may only be caused by the outlier number 4, which drags the line down and widens the confidence intervals, making us less confident in our results. In contrast, a robust regression ignores the outlier and shows a clear trend with the narrow confidence intervals. Moreover, Tab model command from sjplot package shows that a robust model has a much higher coefficient of determination r squared, which means that robust model fits the data much better than the ordinary model. And finally, we can see that the results can be dramatically different. Namely, a slope is significant in robust regression, while not significant in the ordinary linear model, indicating that ordinary model was so heavily biased by the outlier that it produced a wrong result, which made me miss an important discovery and never win a Nobel Prize. So, having robust regression in your statistical toolbox will already step up your data science game. But robust regression does not save you from violations of other model assumptions which you definitely need to check, otherwise you might again get a completely wrong result. Fortunately, there is only one function which checks and visualizes all the assumptions of any model at once, which you can learn more about from this video.